them that they will keep to the treaty that they have concluded with you. Illa qalila min whom except only a few among them. There are good souls also. But you know, hukmul aksar hukmul kul. The majority condition of the majority will be taken to be the condition of the all. Fafu anhum wasfah. So just ignore them. Turn away your face from them. Don't engage yourself in any conflict with them. Allah will look after them. Inna Allah yuhibbul mursaleen. If you overlook their mischiefs, then Allah will be with you. Allah is with the, pe the people who do good. So you will go on doing good. You fulfill your part of the covenant. You fulfill your part of the treaty. If they are treacherous, well, they will be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّا نَصَارَىٰ أَخَذْنَا مِسَاقَهُمْ Now the second covenant was taken from those people who called themselves Nasara. وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّا نَصَارَىٰ And from those also who called themselves Nasara. أَخَذْنَا مِسَاقَهُمْ We took the covenant. That is why I told you, I can name this surah as the surah of covenant. Misaq. Misaq from Muslims. There was a Misaq from the Jews. There was a Misaq from this Nasara, أَخَذْنَا مِسَاقَهُ فَنَسُوا حَزْوَ مِمَّا ذُكِرُبُ They also forgot lot of the things which were given to them and with which they were admonished. فَأَوْرَيْنَا بَيْنَهُمُ الْعَدَابَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءَ So we have stirred among them enmity and hatred. You know it's the history that the blood shedding among different sects of the Christians, there is no parallel in the history of the world. How have they been killing each other? It is not the case among the Muslims. Muslims have been, by and large, very tolerant nation. History proves it. But you know the sex, because most of the history is not, not known to most of us. That's a different case. And then the, the enmity between the Jews and the Christians. A long story of history. فَأَغْرَقْنَا أَغْرَيْنَا بَيْنَهُمُ الْعَدَابَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءَ Enmity and hatred. إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ And this will remain, this will continue till the day of resurrection. There is going to be an exception and I will later on discuss that exception. It will come, you know, in course of time in this very surah. وَصَوْفَ نُنَبِّهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَسْنَعُونَ And on that day we shall tell them, all of them, what they had been doing. They will have their balance sheets. Each one of them before their eyes. Ya al kitab qad jaakum rasooluna yubayyinu lakum kasiram mimma kuntum tufuna min al kitab. O people of the book, O people of the scripture, our messenger has come to you. Yubayyinu lakum, and he is making clear and manifest kasiram mimma kuntum tufun. Most of those things which you had been hiding and concealing, you are concealing the true teachings of Moses, the true teachings of Jesus. But Muhammad has come, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he has brought all the things to the open. Wayafu and kasir, but he is also ignoring a lot of it. Not all of your crimes are being discussed. So many things, you know, we have omitted. Qadjaku min Allah nurum wa kitabum mubin. Not only our messenger has come to you, to you has come a clear light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a book which is very clear, very self-explanatory, Kitabun Mubin. Yahdi bihi Allahu mani tabaa rizwanahu subul as-salam. With this book Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with this, this light, Allah guides so many people whosoever want to follow his pleasure who want to pursue the prayer of Allah, they can get the guidance from this book. And he takes them out from different shades and different depths of darkness into light. You will always find in the Quran, Noor as singular. Never Anwar. Zulumat as plural. Never singular. Why? Light is a positive phenomenon. And what is darkness? When there is no light, it's darkness. And it has different shades. 
shades of darkness. Light is something one. Minas Zulamat. Now we have the, the, the darkness of kufr, darkness of shirk, darkness of materialism, darkness of atheism, darkness of skepticism. All these things are different shades of darkness. This book of Allah takes you out of all the shades of darkness into the light, light of guidance. وَيَهْدِيهِمْ إِلَىٰ صِرَاطِ مُسْتَقِيمٍ And guides them to the right path, straight path. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْرُ مَرْيَمْ Definitely, those people have blasphemed who have said that Allah is Himself Masih ibn Maryam. I told you, this is God incarnate. The concept that Allah Himself has come down to this earth in the form of, in the person of Isa ibn Maryam. قُلْ لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمُ قُلْ فَمَنْ يَمْلِكُ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا Ask them, who will be able to have anything, any, any authority from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in arada yuhlik al-masih ibn Maryam wa ummahu if Allah decides to assassinate or to eliminate Masih ibn Maryam or not only Masih ibn Maryam, also his his mother, Maman Filar the Jamia. And whosoever is in the earth, Allah can do it in one moment. And to Allah belongs the kingdom and the sovereignty. To Allah belongs the kingdom and sovereignty of all the heavens and the earth. And whatever is in between them, He creates what He pleases, what He likes. وَاللَّهُ وَلَا كُلِّ شَيْنْ قَدِيرٌ And Allah has power over everything. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ وَالنَّسَارَ نَحْنُ أَبْنَاءُ اللَّهِ وَاهِبَّاهُ And these Jews and Christians, they say, we are sons of Allah. And we are very much beloved with Him. He loves us. We are the chosen people of the Lord. نَحْنُ أَبْنَاءُ اللَّهِ Just as a son is dear to his father. So are we dear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. نَحْنُ أَبْنَاءُ اللَّهِ وَعِبَّاهُ قُلْ فَلِمَا يُعَوْزِبُكُمْ بِذُنُوبِكُمْ Ask them, then why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been punishing you due to your sins? Why He persecuted you at the hands of Nebuchadnezzar? Why you were tortured at the hands of the Greeks and at the hands of the Romans? And in this century, at the hands of the Germans, if you are the sons of Allah, you are the beloved of Allah, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been punishing you? Due to your sins. Bal antum basharum mimman khalaq. Nothing of that type. You are also men from among men who he, whom he has created. He has created all the mankind. And you are also human beings like other human beings. No son of Allah, no beloved of Allah. Allah loves only the righteous one. People who have taqwa. Inna akrabakum in Allah yatqaakum. No nation is the beloved of Allah. No group of people can claim that he has some special relationship with Allah. Bal antum basharum mimman khalaq. Yaghfiru li man yasha wa yaazibu man yasha. He will pardon and forgive anybody he pleases. And he will chastise. And he will punish anybody he likes. Wallahu. وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And to, to Allah belongs the kingdom and sovereignty of all the heavens and the earth. وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا And of whatever is there in between them. وَإِلَيْهِ الْمَسِيرِ And to Him is the return. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفُرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِسَائِرِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْمُسْلِمَاتِ Allah